Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to overcome a hurdle on iPhone. So you basically try to update your phone using iTunes and you get error 53. Error 53 means that you replaced a part that is not genuine and Apple or iTunes recognizes it and doesn't authorize you to do the update or the backup. So. Uh, in this case, recently I replaced the connector. Sorry about my finger, I was working on my car. Um, and the battery, and then I went ahead, did the update, backed up my phone, and honestly, I don't understand. I got the encryption box ticked off, but put a password on the backup, so I lost almost everything. Uh, if you guys know how to decrypt um, a recovery file, please let me know. That would be much appreciated. Okay. So, yeah. Error 53, you cannot do that with iTunes. You cannot update with iTunes. To save your phone, you need to download 3U tools. And then you go to Smart Flash. So, over here, this, as you can see, I already downloaded it because I was trying to update to 18.4. You can... Uh, downsize and you can import your own so you can download uh, one or it's, it's already downloaded iTunes at this point if you tried and you got the error so you can just hit import and look for it um, over here retain users data didn't work for me so you got to go to quick flash so you select right go here and then you go quick flash. Uh, ba, ba, ba. I did not do that. And then you go to flash. And that's not gonna give you the error. But in this case, if you choose like this one, the restore, uh, this will delete everything. However, your phone will be usable. It's not gonna get stuck in the middle of the process. So at least it's something it's not the best i know but at least your phone is usable and you don't have to go to a repair shop where they're gonna charge you so yeah get you three use tools very great um all free i didn't pay anything for this so yeah quick flash do that don't worry about this red blah, blah, i don't know about it i didn't do it and flash and you should be good so Thanks so much for watching. If this helped, please leave a like. And if you know how to recover an encrypted backup file, please let me know. If not, it's okay. I might find something later, but no biggie. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.